Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage. And me and a team of guys just finished machine polishing and then machine waxing this 1936 Ford Roadster. Now this belongs to Mike Stowe. He's the former owner for Classic Instruments. And uh, I'm gonna interview him here in a second, but his father built this car and the paint on this car is over 50 years old. Now look at it, it's just as clear and wet looking as the day it was sprayed. When it got here, and there's the before pictures are up on the autogeekonline.net discussion forum, uh, it was completely uh, oxidized. This is a single stage paint job, and it had a lot of uh, swirls, scratches, and water spots in the paint. So what we did is we did a real simple machine polishing process First we wipe the car down clean and then we use the uh, Pinnacle Ultra Poly Clay to remove all the above surface bond of contaminants and I had Mike do the baggie test and it actually had quite a few contaminants on the paint so we remove those first. Then we use the advanced swirl remover with orange cutting pads on DA polishers. Then we switched over to the black finishing pads from Lake Country and applied the advanced finishing polish and then we machine applied a coat of Pinnacle Sovereign. And I think the results pretty much just speak for themselves. We also machine waxed the dash. There's a lot of classic cars like this have painted dashes just like the exterior. Anyway, this is a very beautiful car. It's very ornate. It's a daily driver. Mike drives this rain or shine. Look at those beautiful fenders, beautiful chrome wheels, the big old bucket headlights. The uh, front bumpers on these are iconic because if you look at them straight forward, they have a little dip. They call that the smile. Let me back up here. I'll show you what that looks like. See how it dips right there in the front? And that's how you can tell a 36 Ford from all the other years. Anyway, 1936 Ford machine polished here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage for a true show car finish. And you can see all the high resolution pictures before and after and the videos up on autogeekonline.net so check them out here's my crew say hi guys hey, hey. Jeff, hey, hey. Oliver, hey, hey. Forrest, Paul and there's Mike and Tim just walked outdoors anyway just another car with a show car finish coming out of Auto Geek Show Car Garage we'll see you on the forum Hey, Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage, and I have Mike Stowe, the owner of this 1936 Ford here. And while he's here, I just want to let him share kind of some of the history behind this car. Mike, what can you tell me about this car? Well, this car was sectioned in 1955 in North Carolina uh, with a torch because they didn't have all the fancy welding equipment they have today. And, uh, and uh, my father found it in a garage all apart in 1961 and proceeded to put it together. Buick were, the Buick Motor Car Company were kind enough to give us an all aluminum, 215 cubic inch aluminum V8 for it, with a four speed hanging on the back. So it's always had that. So that's the only car. Brand that new from the, from the actual we factory. Went, we, went, we went and picked it up at the factory. That's pretty cool. Which is pretty fun. And, and uh, so we put it together in 61. In 1962, my mother and dad left Autorama with it in Detroit. And that would have been February and they nearly froze, but they drove this roadster to Florida. And so, and, and then he sold it in 69, and uh, about 20 years ago I found it in Portland, Oregon and bought it back. I'm from Oregon, I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah almost all my life, yeah, yeah so. That's great. We, uh, we, so we, uh, uh, my wife and I decided that we would take the same trip my folks did 50 years later in the same car. It's never had anything done to it. Uh, since then, I had to put tires on it, and that's about the only thing that's been done to it since my folks drove it to Florida. That's an amazing story because a lot of times people build these cars and they end up being either a trailer queen or a garage yeah, queen so. and, and bought and sold. And this actually has a really long history, plus, it's a daily driver, has so. been since its inception, yeah. and, and you just continue that legacy. And you have a lot of fun with it, too. Don't I you? have a blast with it, it's a lot of fun to drive. I drive it every day, 
Uh, my wife has a car, but this is the only other car I have. To, it's the only car I have to drive. So this is all steel too, no this fiberglass. Is, uh, yeah, and right. I love the pearlescent, uh, the, the vinyl interior has yeah. that pearl look to it. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of that was really popular in the early '60s. Yeah. You saw it in GTOs. And We've had a '68 Firebird down here, and um, we had a '442 down here that both yeah. had that same style factory mm -hmm. time or period correct vinyl interior. Actually, yeah. a nice touch to it. Yeah. Well, that's about all we have. It's uh, uh, just a quick interview with Mike Stowe. Thanks for coming down and bringing Thank us your you. car. Thank you. What a pleasure. And what a, what a difference you made in this car. Thanks to AutoGeek. Hey, the biggest thing I always like to say is thank you for trusting AutoGeek with your car. Because, you know, a lot of times guys that have these kind of cars, they, they, they maybe don't know how to machine polish them themselves, but they also don't trust anybody else to touch their baby. So when we get someone's trust, that means a lot to me. Right. Hey, you. we'll see you up on the forum.